out of date and we're really bad at checking on dates and stuff during the time when the dates should be checked. They're out of date for like a year yeah. or two. It's um it's, it's bad. It's pretty pretty bad. Pretty bad. I can't believe we both fit in it. Oh let's go. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, our landlords have been around for most of the morning uh, just tinkering with a few bits and bobs but I think that is probably the last time they're going to be here for a while um, because they kind of fixed what they wanted to fix and the only room that they really need to do anything with is this room uh, I still need to excavate all of my stuff from here but I, I'm pretty nearly there I just have a load of like rubbish on the bed, like TVs and posters and things, but besides that, I think we're pretty much done for this room. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. But uh, right now, Michaela and I, uh, I think we're getting some lunch, aren't we? Yeah, making sweet potato yeah. fries. Oh, sweet potato fries. Honestly, guys, if you have not tried sweet potato fries, try it. It will change your life. But um, yeah, as for like packing and stuff, we're making quite a lot of leeway because well, tomorrow my mum is coming up and we are shifting all of this stuff here in the corner, pretty much. But yeah, anyway, right now we're going to go get some lunch because we are hungry. And then I think for the rest of the day we're just going to pack, really. We have just got ourselves some sweet potato fries and eggs for lunch. And actually whilst they were cooking in the oven, the sweet potato fries, we have been packing up the kitchen. Um, nothing like useful that we're going to be needing in the, over the next few weeks like uh, like cutlery and stuff like that but we've packed away food and we've literally packed away a whole box of food that we're not going to be eating until after we've moved out because we're going to be still doing the detox so we can't actually eat the food like crisps and stuff like that and we also have another thing here that's going to be a box so these condiments and stuff like that is going to be a box as well and also we have a huge pile of food on the floor that needs to go in the bin because they're out of date and we're really bad at checking on dates and stuff during the time when the dates should be checked they're out of date for like a year yeah or two it's um it's, it's bad it's pretty, pretty bad pretty bad but yes anyways we are going to go and munch away on our delicious food mm, yeah and then we're actually going to go and do some more packing. Not too long ago we finished packing up the house for the day and in total today we managed four boxes which is good progress. I mean it's not too many but it's not too little either. It's better than none. So I'm pretty happy with that and in all honesty anyway all the boxes we've packed up today probably aren't even going to be going tomorrow um, in the car with Sam's mum because we have so much stuff already to go that are packed up. Like all this stuff has to go and um, not even all of that is actually going to fit in her car, I don't think. So all the stuff we packed up today is just going to be lying around here anyway for another week or so. So yes, um, we're actually going to leave it there for the day. We're going to pack no more stuff because it would just be sitting around anyway. But yes, we are close to finishing the packing now. I'm very happy. It's just little odds and sods now, just little bits here and there. Um, posters on the wall, just things that we're still using like kitchen stuff. Um, food we're still using, toiletries we're still using, that kind of thing. So we're getting closer to finishing packing up this house, but um, at the moment it's pretty much just little bits here and there um, that we'll probably pack up next week or something. But yes, after finishing up packing for the day, I actually went out for a run and Sam was actually supposed to go out for a run as well today, but he's not been feeling too well this afternoon. So instead he has stayed here and he watched a film on TV called Legend which he didn't seem too impressed with at all, to be honest. He said he's always wanted to watch it, but I think it let him down, to be honest, which kind of sucks, but he got out of running, so <laughs> that's, that's kind of a plus side to watching that film. And I was gonna stay with him. I was gonna stay here, um, but I did push myself and I, I went on my run. And so yeah, I managed a 20 minute run, which is around three kilometers, so I'm pretty happy with that and I have been improving every single time I run. I feel so much better after I've ran and when I'm running. And I think soon I'm gonna be able to work my way up again to five kilometers. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. I think a five kilometer run is around 35 minutes. So I'm close. I mean, I'm 15 minutes off, but I'm close. 
ish. But yes, anyways, I think now that I'm back from my run, I'm just gonna grab some food with Sam because we haven't had dinner yet and it's pretty late. And then I'm gonna have a bath and Sam's gonna go to bed because he has work in the morning and it's his, I think, almost last shift of his current job. Sam is in bed sleeping as he has been for a little while now and I have been in the bath for a long time. I literally had a bath with the intention of having a like half an hour bath and I ended up staying in it for an hour and a half just watching YouTube videos and relaxing and it was lovely although it has made me very sleepy now. So I think I'm gonna go to sleep now and that's probably a wise decision of mine because tomorrow is gonna be a long day if everything goes as planned because we are beginning to move out of this house. We'll be packing up a car and heavy lifting. I say heavy lifting, some of the boxes are quite heavy, some of them are pretty light but Let's just call it heavy lifting and transferring boxes that are slightly heavy to a car. So yes, I'm going to go to sleep now so I can be up bright and early to begin the long day ahead of us tomorrow. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. My trousers are completely stained or my knee area is stained with like an oil patch. So I've been meaning to kind of tidy up a bit because I love these trousers and I don't want to get rid of them. So what we're going to do is we are going to try and make them fashionable jeans by cutting holes in them. <laughs> but I'm not sure how it's <laughs> going to go. go well. So if it goes terribly wrong, I'll just change out of my jeans because I am wearing them today. But I'm hoping it goes right. I'm really hoping it goes right because I love these jeans. All right, so here's the finished product. 